Hello and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how we can um, flash uh, Meraki MR12 with uh, OpenWRT. Um, first of all, we're going to load uh, the firmware uh, from uh, the TFTP server. Uh, the access point will boot will boot the, with uh, OpenWRT. It won't be flashed, it will be just booting from OpenWRT. You can check if everything is okay, all the configurations are working, um, and um, if everything is uh, as you want. And uh, after, we're going to flash it definitely. So, once you flash it definitely, there's no way back, so you will lose the, um, the firmware from Meraki. Just gonna show you. This is the MR12. It's an access point um, with two Ethernet ports. As you can see here, I'm going to show you the pinout. The pinout here is um, you connect to JP1. You need a UART cable. This is uh, receive, transmit, and ground. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to leave the link in the, in the descriptions. You're going to be connecting to this. Ethernet port, the Ethernet port that says uplink PoE, it's the, the gigabit uh, port. Only this one will be working. There's um, a small drawback on the um, on the um, on the firmware that this port is not enabled. Uh, it hasn't got the drivers for for this port, so you will only have this port enabled. So we're going to see the um, the procedure first to load the firmware and after to flash it. Uh, definitely. Okay, in order to upload the firmware, uh, after I connect my my cable, I've got my UART cable connected. It actually reports on uh, it communicates on COM18, and uh, this is the the port speed of the access point. So I'm just going to open it here. My ac access point is um, is disconnected. I have my Ethernet cable connected from my computer directly to the access point on the the port that says PoE and uh, and uh, gigabit, and I'm gonna plug it and quickly press a key. Okay, it did stop. I'm gonna open my TFTP server, which is Python. Some of you may know. Let it open. I'm going to show you what I have configured on the on the pumpkin side. It's right over here. Options, okay. Give all files, take all files. This is the folder where I, where I have my firmware files. Network, make sure this is listening on port uh, 69. Just give files, take files, and make sure server is running is ticked because if it's not ticked it um, it won't be running okay this is the command that is available on the, on the wiki of uh, OpenWRT this is to load the firmware and boot the, the access point this won't flash your device this will just boot your device using this image in order for you to, to test it so just going to show you. Which is my IP configuration. Okay. Make sure this is your PC IP. Make sure it looks like this. This is my PC. And this will respond at uh, Last uh, last address will be one. Just gonna close it and give it a enter and see what happens. See here, loading, loading, sending files, and it's booting. I'm gonna do a ping here because. Now this this is the default IP of uh, OpenWRT. 
and then in a few moments we're gonna start to have a response and as soon as we have a response I know that this is uh, here we are already opened so oh. just wait a little bit PR line okay and here we have it. So right now we have a Meraki running OpenWRT. Okay, after we've tested uh, the firmware, tried the, some configurations, and uh, everything seems to be working, uh, the next step is to upload the, the firmware definitely, and uh, this will erase the um, factory firmware. So you're going to need your TFTP server once again and um, make sure that you use the same um, IP configurations you used before. Server running, just going to check if everything's okay. Okay, that works 69, okay. Now I'm going to boot, I'm going to boot the, uh, the access point. See, I'm going to break it. Here we have it. So, this is the first command we have to do. We're going to load the, um, the kernel, then do a erase to all these addresses, and some other stuff that we're doing here. Loading, as you can see. Now he's doing um, some erase. This might take a while. So let's see. Okay, it's done. It was fairly quick. I'm gonna do the other one. The FTP server is sending. Done. Then we're gonna set this. Set these parameters, and it's going to do a boot. And after the boot, we will have our Meraki running OpenWRT definitely. I'm going to ping this. Show you this. Okay, it's replying. Here we have it. Okay, don't need this anymore. Just gonna put this over here. If I do I enter here, see open the WRT. Go login. And uh, I'm gonna do a reboot. Perform reboot. And should we start responding right about now? Okay. Let's go over here. Yeah. And we're back. So this is the this is how you flash a Meraki. Definitely remember, there's no turning back after you've done this. And uh, if this is working for you, um, if your device just ended your your license and uh, you have a useless device at home, and you want to try this, you can uh, go ahead. I'm going to leave the links in the description for all the files and all the 
all the data you need to perform this. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a nice day.